the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always I'm gonna say friends in today's lecture what we're going to be seeing is how we are going to be creating a static website using S3 we talked about S3 we created buckets we made the buckets public and we also uploaded some objects so in today's lecture we are going to be seeing creating a static website so if you're new to the website designing and uh, you know if you want to learn more of this s3 kindly jump in and with this we have almost covered 70 to 80 percent of s3 so maybe one more lecture to finish the entire part of s3 which is a very big part in aws let's take a deep dive in today's lecture what we're going to be seeing is creating a static website using s3 so, so far we have actually seen the identity access management, how to create users, groups, roles and everything. And then we also, you know, uh, went into S3 and we actually uploaded a picture and we actually made it public. Now this lecture, it is going to cover how to create a static website in an S3 bucket. A static website is something which is like, you know, uh, which is a standalone. So having said that, it is not going to be like your Amazon, uh, you know, shopping cart or like filling in Oracle forms, you know, any of those things. Okay, where like a JavaScript is going to be coming into picture. All right. So here it is going to be just a simple standalone uh, website. Okay, that is what we are going to be doing. So let's, let's actually, you know, get into, you know, real hands-on experience. All right. So let me actually sign into this console. So when I'm actually signing into the console, I've already done that. So let me actually sign it out and let me sign back in. So, you know, this is my username and username. So I'm going to give my password. So, you know, so persons who know, like, you know, it's going to going to ask for my multi-factor authentication. Okay, we know that. So the multi-factor authentication is, if you remember it right, is the authy. So I go with this authy, you know, this is what like we actually downloaded. This is the MFA code that I have. Bingo. Now I am inside and we talked about this Northern Virginia. This is the name. We created this identity access management. We created the S3. So we talked about all these things. Okay. So this is all very good. So what I'm actually going to do is here, I'm going to actually go to this S3. Okay. So this is a, uh, in this S3, we created these two things, right? Now I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to create a bucket and in this bucket, I'm going to say my static website. Okay. So my static website. So this is what it is. Um, so this is unique and stuff of that nature. Um, okay. I'm going to say this is enabled and, uh, I'm going to, this is the most important thing. This is a website, right? So a website is something like this, right? Where anybody can actually see it, right? Uh, so I'm going to remove this block all public access because you need every public access and you need to acknowledge, okay? You need to acknowledge that this is what it is. Let's not get into the versioning. Let's not get into the tag and stuff of that nature. And let's not go, go to this. Let's actually create a bucket. Uh, so it says like the bucket of the same name exists. Okay, so what I can actually do is uh, I can say keyword Ras. Okay, and let's see whether this thing is existing. Again, the same thing. Okay, uh, the same thing is basically removing this, acknowledging, and let's see whether I'm creating this bucket and whether it's being created. Bingo. So this uh, this bucket has been created. All right. Now, uh, let's actually get into this bucket. Okay, so we say this objects can be public and one of the thing is to make this object as a public. Okay, so now let's actually get into this. So when I actually get into this, I need to upload something, right? So what we are going to do is in this lecture, we are going to be creating, uh, you know, uh, HTML web pages. Remember what? Remember like back in the 90s, late 90s, when the web pages actually came, HTML was a very big in-demanded skill, okay? And today what we're going to be seeing is there are many things which actually does it for free. And if you guys don't know how to make a website, this is something to learn and also like, you know, um, you know, uh, and then like enhance your skill set. HTML, even like many tools actually do it. Okay, so but this is going to be a start. If you're really interested, this will be a start. So I downloaded this edit plus plus. So this edit plus plus is something like this. You can say new and then create a new HTML page and it actually gives you this. So this edit plus plus for the first 30 days, it is free and then you have to pay. 
okay so this is the edit plus plus uh, so what I am actually going to do is I actually created okay this is the body okay this is how it is going to come okay uh, open and then like close you have a body closing the body and this is a title this is a document now what I'm going to be doing here is in this index one dot HTML I have everything okay so I'm going to say hello welcome to my first web page and I've given an image okay so in this thing what I can actually do is let's actually try and preview how this is going to be coming in okay because you can preview this edit edit plus plus or the edit plus is such a you know a very cool thing where you can actually see what you have actually done okay so if I go to the screen front or the toolbars um, okay view in the browser I want to see how this thing is actually coming in so hello welcome to my first web page this is index.1 and this is my image okay now say suppose you have this to be you know in the in the center right now if I if I comment on this and if I comment on this and if I actually save this okay and then if I actually still try to view, let's see what is actually happening, okay? So view in the browser, let's actually see. Uh, okay, my bad. So what I can do is, usually when you actually comment, this thing goes away, right? So what I can do is, uh, just, I'm just, I'm just, you know, for education purposes, uh, I'm going to show you something okay just for education pure education purposes okay let us actually see whether this is working yeah see the images has disappeared and something which was in the center came here okay so this is what the division actually say and this is what the images and the images are basically in my you know desktop where I've actually saved it now when you view it in the browser you can actually see the side by side how your web page is actually coming in okay bingo so I got my first thing and I've actually saved this as um, you know index one dot HTML okay so I've actually saved this as index one dot HTML now what I'm going to be doing here is um, I'm going to say this thing there seems to be some error kindly check okay so what I'm going to be saying is and what I'm going to be saving it as is um, error one dot HTML okay so I'm going to be saving this as error one dot HTML now like always I'm going to be viewing Okay, I'm going to be viewing in this browser. So this is what I have. There, there, there seems to be some error. Kindly check. Okay, and now I have. All right. Now let's actually get into our this thing, and uh, let's actually upload. Okay. So when I actually upload, when I actually add the files, I can uh, just a second. For some reason, you know, this thing always opens up. It actually, you know, some smart this thing opens up, and like you know. So I'm going to be uploading this files. I have uploaded this files. Now, friends, I can. Uh, oh, there is also one more thing that I actually I should have actually done. So let me actually go here. Uh, let me say leave. Let me go to my permissions. Uh, so those bucket policies access control list okay there is one thing this cross origin let's not go to the cross origin um, I should have also done one more thing which I actually forgot not this not this not this intelligent tier um, not this object lock the static this thing is there right the static web website hosting is there right this is what I want to show you need to enable this okay so when you actually enable this I'm going to say because this is what I created right now. I'm going to say index one dot HTML. Um, I'm going to say error one dot HTML because this is what I created right now. All right. I'm going to be saving the changes. 
So now in the properties under this bucket, you have actually done that, correct? Correct. So let's actually get into this buckets, my this thing, and I'm going to be uploading. So in uploading, I'm going to be adding this folders. So in adding this uh, thing, I'm going to say error one and index one, because this is what we did. What we can actually do is, I can actually even make this public by just right clicking and stuff of that nature. Okay, I can actually do that, but let's not do it because on a normal website, you're going to be having thousands of, you know, uh, HTMLs and thousands of things and you can't do it manually. So the thing is always doing it, uh, you know, always doing it in a, uh, in, in a script manner. Okay, so that is that is what you know, that is what you have to do. So what we have to do here is um, properties, objects can be public, permissions, okay. I actually added these two, I'm going to upload this. Okay, so now these two files have been uploaded. So if you see these two files have been uploaded and uh, this is where it is residing. I can go here and in the actions, I can actually make it public. Okay, this is what I told you. But I don't need to do that because on a normal website, I should be having thousands of uh, HTML. So the best thing is to actually go and make it in a script. So the script is in a bucket policy, I'm going to say edit. This is the JSON. So let me also teach you some JSON here. This is like a JavaScript kind of a thing. Uh, you know, so let's actually do this here. Friends, let's not worry about this. The most important thing is this effect action resource or the way I actually remember this is E-A-R, year, our year, E-A-R. What is the effect? I'm going to allow everything. What is the action? Get the object. And what is the resource? The resource is this A-R-N is the Amazon resource name. And this is the bucket name. What I'm going to be doing here is, this is my Amazon resource name for my particular bucket that I actually did. Okay, so I just copied this and I'm going to be pasting it here. Okay, so I'm just going to be pasting it here and I'm going to be saving the changes. So what that what this thing did, I'm going to be showing you. Okay, so when I go to my bucket here, just see now everything has become public. Here objects can be public, here objects can be public, but here it became public. Okay, and that is the beauty here. Okay, and that is the beauty. So now let's actually go and let's actually go to the permissions and um, let's go to the properties. Okay, let's actually get the static website URL. Okay, so this is my static website, my friends. Okay, so if I actually say open this in a new tab, okay, this is saying it's not found. Okay, so something actually went wrong here. Um, just give me a second. So last time, like, you know, I got an error message, right? So, you know, with the error message, as I always say, like, you know, don't get bogged down by the error message because error message always gives us an opportunity to improve ourselves, right? So what I did was, let me actually show you my HTML here. <clears throat> there is, uh, there are a few things that I actually did. Okay, so the first thing is, um, the name of the HTML is fine, so those things are fine. Here, the image source initially I gave from my from my desktop, which is C something. But when you're actually uploading something in the S3, don't you think it should be the S3 name? So S3 Amazon AWS.com and this bucket and this thing. So let me also show you something here. So this is the bucket, right? Which is be made public. So we all saw this. So I'm I am here. So when I'm actually here, I have this index HTML. Okay, that index one and, and error one, I changed it to index and error. Okay, it is just renaming. Okay, it is just renaming, nothing else more. So that is why I showed you this uh, uh, HTML page as well. 
So this error is there, index is there, and here I actually put my image. So it is in the same bucket, okay? Now I also showed you how I made everything public and how this public came. So now let me actually get you to the properties. And in the properties, if you actually see here, okay, we made the static web website hosting. So let me actually click on this, bingo. So welcome to my first static web page. And this is the image and we also saw this in the um, edit plus. Okay, uh, we exactly saw the same. Now let me do something different here. If I say press an N, let's actually see whether it is actually giving me something. There seems to be some error kindly check because this thing is not there and this is exactly what we did and this is exactly what it actually asked in the static it asked me to enter two things right one is this index and error and this is exactly what i did so friends what did we learn today we actually learned to actually put a static website hosting we actually enabled it okay this request a place and other things like don't worry we made this bucket public we actually uploaded index html error html and then we actually had a json script and we made the entire thing public and the reason is, okay, right now I just have to, I can make this index and error as a public, uh, you know, that is easy manually. But, you know, if I have thousands of HTMLs, I can only go by a script. So go by a script. Uh, and the script also, I taught you how to do it. And I also told you this AR and from where I actually took and I actually did this, this allo, uh, you know, this allo EAR. Okay, this ear, you know, which is allo, this thing and stuff of that nature. Uh, so get the object. So here I actually replace. So this part also we actually covered. All right. Uh, so in this we actually did this and then like, you know, we made everything public and we actually created enabled a static and here we actually went in the permissions. We actually gave it as like, you know, we remove this block public access. We gave this bu bucket public policies, the E-A-R year. Okay. E-A-R year. And we actually put this. This is what made everything as public. So this is a script which made everything public in my in this particular folder uh, or the bucket okay so the ARN is the Amazon resource name so this is what we did we didn't worry about the remaining ones and in the properties if you actually go and then you know here we have this you know uh, static website hosting this is my URL so when I actually click on this URL this is what I got and you know if I do something different this is what I got this is what we also like you know coded as Okay, so friends, remember this thing. S3 is only for static website. It is not for dynamic. Okay, such as like, you know, an Amazon shopping cart or like a JavaScript or like, you know, Oracle forms, nothing of that nature. It is only like static. Simple standalone. Okay, this is a simple standalone. I can't click anything. I can't enter anything. I can't type anything. It is just like a simple standalone, like a block spot. Okay, non-interactive block spot. Okay, so that is the meaning of static and S3 scales automatically. So it will know like what is what it actually scales automatically. And we all know the cost, you know, which will also be seeing S3 is quite cheap. All right. So I think it is good enough for today. And if you have any questions, you know how to actually contact me uh, and feel free to do so. All right. Talk to you soon. Take care. Cheers. Bye. Namaste, friends. I trust you have actually enjoyed my lecture. So my exam tips here, as I always say is, S3 is only done for static website, not dynamic. And S3 scales automatically. Okay. So if you have any questions, you know where to contact me. And like always, I would like to thank you for giving me your valuable time. And also my wife Jayashree for supporting my passion. Till we see you next time. Take care. Cheers. Bye.